Hey everyone, and thanks for watching. Here we're gonna show you some techniques for DSing your audio here in Studio One. Let's take a listen. When you hear the word sibilance, basically what that means is that nasty, harsh S sound that can really penetrate your earbuds. I mean, it's, it's not a friendly, friendly tone, and it's different for different singers, but in particular with female singers, it can be pretty brash. Now, when you add on to that compression and mastering, you know, it, it really could stick out like a needle in your eardrum. And obviously, you know, you're going to come across different things like that that you need to tame or correct in audio production. So what I set up here is a couple of quick examples. One is a voiceover. Here's my voice right here. Take a listen. Sibilance. The more sensitive we are to sibilance, the more we often seem surprised. I'll open up my mixer now. And you'll typically find your DSing, your dedicated DSing plugins under your Dynamics folder. And uh, you know, you could use third party ones and so on. And I happen to have a couple here of mono and stereo. Now my track is recorded in mono. So I'm gonna drag that onto my insert, my first insert slot. And this is a DSer. Basically the way it works is there's going to be a threshold where you want that sibilance to begin working the DSer for that sibilance and the frequency. This is adjustable here. It's going to be different for every singer, but we'll leave it on the default value for now. Here's without. Sibilance. The more sensitive we are to sibilance. And now I'll increase the threshold for some uh, sibilance detection. Sibilance. The more sensitive we are to sibilance, the more we often seem surprised. Now, if you notice the attenuation, this bar goes down. It's turning down those brash S sounds. And that's what we want. You don't want to go too extreme. It'll sound totally abnormal. The more sensitive we are to sibilance. It's not like you've got a lisp there. If I, you know, a little does go a long way. The more sensitive we are to sibilance. And you can see by how many decibels it's turning it down. For example, the more sensitive we are to sibilance. It's turning them down almost, almost three dBs there. Now let's switch to the female singer here. Let me mute that one and solo this. This is a stereo. I'll bring a stereo de-esser on there. And let's start with this. Let's hear it dry first. Shit. Let's go back to the beginning. All right, there we are. Uh, Beautiful. Seven love, seven. You can hear there's a real, real harsh sibilant sound there. Now I'm gonna lower my threshold. I'm gonna start at an extreme here. Seven, seven, you can see how much it's removing that S. Seven, seven, and the more attenuation you see, the louder that sibilance is. Check it out. I'm, I'm detecting at about minus 11 here. Seven, and it's, it's literally reducing it at about minus 7 dBs. Seven, now, if you don't like what happens to the overall tonality, you see, there's a large debate out there. I know DSs are really simple and easy to use. You put them on, you detect your frequency, and there you go. Next, I'll show you a more hands-on way to do this. Since you're sweeping for frequencies, let's put an EQ here onto my voiceover track. All right, now what we want to do is somewhere around the 5K range here, we want to create a bell curve and adjust the cue to be pretty darn sharp. Now, if you are listening with headphones on, please do be careful. I don't want to blow anybody's eardrums out, all right? And we're going to sweep for that frequency. So let's see, I'm going to draw a loop marker right around there, activate my cycle, and let's find that sibilance. The more sensitive we are to sibilance, the more sensitive we are to sibilance, the more sensitive we are to sibilance, the more sensitive we are to sibilance. There it is, really brash. So it's around 6.51K there in this example. I'm gonna reduce it. So I'm gonna cut. Remember, when we're, when we're removing our frequencies here, it's called cutting. Now let's take a listen. The more sensitive we are to sibilance, so there's with the EQ curve, and here's the other one. The more sensitive we are to sibilance, the more sensitive we are to sibilance. But if you notice, it does change the overall tonality a little bit, so be mindful of that. All right, it's called audio production for a reason, right? Gotta do some work. This is DSing and Studio One. Of course, you know what I always say, try it for yourself. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. 
Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.